Okay, folks, this will be an interesting one. Okay, let's see what we have. We have here, it's a toy car. Okay, it's one of them things called Hot Wheels. It's a Hot Wheels, very popular. I used to love these when I was a kid. I used to think that I, that I had some given to me by my parents, but I think they were actually my brothers because my mum and dad wanted me to play with dolls. And I really hated dolls, folks. Uh, didn't like them. And I think my brother was the one that had the toy cars. And I used to like those. But I hated dolls. And I hated wearing dresses. Uh, my mum accepts me as I am now. But my dad still judges me for, the, for who I am. And doesn't like my artwork. He doesn't like anything about me, it seems. He's a fucktard. I'm going to push it down and I'm going to make it a little bit less enlargement. But basically, I was expected to be more feminine uh, instead of... It's hard because I was a tomboy. And it's hard being a tomboy when your parents expect you to just be a girl. And I really hated dresses and I really hated dolls. I think we're going to lift it up a bit. Uh, looks like it's a little bit too uh, close to the edge. Um, but basically, I really resented being uh, feminized because that's what I see it as a form of being feminized, being told to be a, a girl when you're not. I'm not a trans. I'm not trans. I still. I am female and I accept that I'm female even though it's been awkward in the past especially but basically oh yes I hated periods and I hated having breasts as well so it seems like it's like it's like as if I am a little bit on the transy side but I'm not trans it's really strange territory that I find myself in now that looks good I think that's how we're going to work it so yeah, without actually being trans, I, I, I felt very awkward about myself as a woman. So yeah. So I felt very awkward as a woman and I did want to, I, I've always wanted to get married, however. Uh, so I wanted to get married and I missed out on getting married. I, had a, I have a man that I fell in love with about a decade ago and I fell in love with him a little bit too late because I don't know where he is and what he's up to. Um, and I'm trying to use these videos to get in touch with him through social media and whatever other stuff that I can leverage uh, to get in touch with him so I can marry him. And yeah, now that looks really quite nice. I think we're gonna work with that. But basically I really feel lonely without him. And I feel that I always known that if I could get married, I would feel comfort, I'd be really happy to be a woman. 
that all the parts of the body would be accepted because when I'm not married I don't feel like I have a use for the breasts or the other parts that I don't like uh, so that's what we just demoed with uh, this is what we're going to use so I felt awkward um, and being single just makes me feel that being feminine is not possible so I want to get married but I can't get married now because this pandemic, the coronavirus, uh, known as the Delta strain, is taking control of our lives. And we can't seem to get this disease under control. We can't seem to put, a, put it on a leash like we did with the old, with the alpha version of corona. Alpha was a lot slower and, and it didn't appear to attack children very often. Uh, whereas Delta attacks children uh, pretty much as aggressively as adults. Maybe not quite as aggressive, but close to it. I think we're going to make it a bit smaller. But basically, yeah, we're in deep shit at the moment. Uh, it's not looking too flash. And you can't get married now in New South Wales. You can't get married. So if Luigi and I, even if we do get together, we're not going to have the opportunity at this stage to get married. So it's going to be really difficult dealing with what this Delta strain of COVID is doing. And we now have to wear masks outside, which seems ridiculous, but... It's getting that way that we're running out of options, folks. Um, the authorities are at a loss as to how to deal with this shit. They're trying their best, and then they have to... Yeah, it's not working. This bloody disease is on top of us, and it's, behind, it's, a, it's a step ahead of us. Uh, the only way out, folks, is to get vaccinated. So don't worry if it's Pfizer or AstraZeneca, or what's coming down the track, Moderna. Don't worry about your fucking ones unless they say what age group. Yes, I think the, apparently the Pfizer is good for the young people because AstraZeneca is, from what I know, is not quite suitable for the kids or the early teens, late childhood, early teens. I think it's 12 to 18 or something. Don't quote me, folks. I'm not an expert, but... They're trying to get younger people vaccinated and they're going to use... Pfizer is the one that everyone seems to want. Um, it, um, and the um, AstraZeneca is the unpopular one because it had blood clot problems, but rare. They're rare, I emphasise. And if you're in the age group that can take uh, AstraZeneca, I say go get it. Forget about waiting for Pfizer. We have no time to wait. This lockdown won't end until we are fucking vaccinated. At least 80% of us or 70% or whatever. We have to get vaxxed. Uh, this looks really quite nice. I think now we can call this demo quits.